human, listen carefully. Today, we will have a look at SCP games on Play Store. There are good SCP games, and there are bad SCP games. That's why I make this video, so you all know what SCP games to play, or just don't play. That I gonna make this as quick and simple as I can. Cause the MTF unit can be here at any minutes. SCP Breach 2D, the most well known and successful game on Play Store inspiring from the OG SCP Containment Breach, I highly recommend it. SCP Escape, just like SCP Breach 2D, but less mobility, at least it's worth a try. SCP 087B, the classic and original SCP game from PC, but no footage of players winning the game is seen. SCP 087B Remake Horror Quest, more scarier but too underrated. The Lost Signal SCP, have I told you, that adding a lot of SCPs and events doesn't make it a good SCP game? SCP Chambers, SCP Zarbullies, everyone who has a gun plays pumped up kicks, and it's dark as fuck. SCP-167 NN5NV1, some kind of SCP-087B game but larger and lagger. SCP-096 Modest, everyone gangster till 096 breaches containment for no reason. The fuck is that sound? Why do I hear screaming? SCP-24 Hours, it would be a good game, if the developer weren't deaf or something, cause the game has no sound or even music. SCP-087B Russian Edition, there's no point in playing this game, just wasting time for nothing, like your life. SCP-MOD, this is Undertale, but has worse graphics, it was also made by Russians. SCP Horrorcraft Secret Lab, some 12 years old Minecraft kid copied a ripoff of Minecraft, put SCP pictures in the game and boom, a bullshit Minecraft SCP game. Nightmare in SCP, the most shitty game made by Russians, again. That's all I wanna say, hope you enjoy the video, now I have to close the doors, to stop MTF unit from taking over the facility, see you soon.